started. All right, deep squat down, come up, one. Good, once you get your five in, on your next one, come down, glue those hands to the ground, drive those hips up high, roll up nice and slow. Let's do five of those. Deep squat down, drop those hands, drive those hips, roll up nice and tall. Good. So welcome to the new studio space also. Yay. Now I'm not stuck in a tiny little room. Now I'm in a slightly bigger room with a white background. <laughs> All right, once you're done there, let's go lateral lunges. So we're gonna step out, lateral lunge to one side, press back up, step out, lateral lunge, press up. As we go five on each side. Hope you guys had a great holiday. Whew. It was good. Took a couple of days off. Not fully off, but a little bit off. <sighs> Hopefully you guys got to spend some time with family. Eat some good food. Nothing too healthy, hopefully. Lots of pie. <sighs> we'll burn that off today. So we're just going to do a quick warm up, get things moving, get things stretched out a little bit. And then get into it. Okay, so here we're going. Hand walk, feet about shoulder width apart, slide down, hand walk out, good plank position. Just go down, nice slow push up all the way down, press up, drive those hips, walk those hands back to your feet. Let's do five of those down and walk out. Nice slow push up, hips high, walk it on back and up. Good. Three more. Now I do have, it's a little easier to see the chat now. So if you want to throw stuff up in the chat, you can. As we go. Last one. And come up. Last warm up thing we're going to do is we are going to go down to the ground. We're going to do a bretzel stretch. So this one's a little hard to set up, but what we're going to do, I'm going to take my top hand, grab my back or bottom foot, okay? And then my front leg, I'm gonna bring up into that 90-90. Should feel a good stretch in your down leg quad. I'm gonna use my bottom hand to hold that knee down in front, take a deep breath, and then try to drive my shoulder to the back of the room and look to the back of the room. <sighs> Release that breath. <sighs> Breathe in. We're just gonna do two on each side. Take a deep breath, release. As you rotate, bring it back. Good. Let's go ahead and switch sides. Just flop on over, switch that other leg right there. Nice deep breath. As I try to rotate that shoulder to the back of the room. Good, one more nice deep breath and go. And good, bring it back. All right, now this first round, and actually I need to adjust where we're at on our program. We are doing a B day today. So we're doing our squat to overhead. And then we're gonna do a dead bug reach. Now what we're gonna do to change things up a little bit today. Now with or without weight, all the movements are the same. Okay, so if you want, it's up to you if you wanna use weight or not. But what we're gonna do, 
today, where we were doing a deep squat, pressing overhead and then standing. This time we're gonna come down. We're gonna go down with our arms up, bring those weights down, stand up, press overhead. Okay, so that's our first movement. The next movement, we go into a dead bug single arm overhead reach from your five and five. Okay, and then from there, we're gonna go plank rotation, good plank position and rotation. So I'll get you guys rolling and then we'll go from there. So with or without weight, all these movements are the same. So I'm gonna grab two weights. We got 15 minutes that we are gonna go and that will be our time. We also got this new fancy timer, which is cool. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start the time. Our first one is our deep squat. Arms up, deep squat down. Bring those arms down, stand up, press overhead. That's our first movement. Okay, while you guys take a little rest in this first block, I'll demo each movement. So let's go ahead, grab your weights if you want them. Here we go. In 10 seconds, we're gonna get started. Three, two, one, and go. So deep squat down, bring those arms down, stand up, press overhead. That's one, you have 10. Don't bring those arms down until you're at the bottom of your squat. Now, if you lose count, that's okay. Get what you think is 10. Okay, now remember I cannot see you. So make sure that your movements feel good. Maybe if you're not ready for that overhead squat, if you feel like your chest leans way too far forward, keep that regular squat. Okay, just keep that regular squat if you need to. All right, good job. Once you're done there, 10 of those. I go down to the floor, dead bug position. I lock in my core, legs stay up. Arms go up. Now today, the change is, I'm gonna take my opposite arm as the arm with weight. So in my case, it's my right hand. I'm gonna grab my left knee, reach up overhead, and bring that arm straight back up. We have five of those on each side. Reach up. Now, if you don't have weight, you wanna add the leg in there, you can. If you're using weight, I want you to really focus on just that overhead pull, making sure that your core and everything is locked in. So once you get your fifth one, we switch. I cross on the other side. I reach up. Good. Just like that. Keep that strength. Keep that arm as straight as you can. Keep breathing. Remember, if you're using that leg, make sure that your back stays nice and stable on the ground. Does not have to be flat, but I don't want it arching really high. And bring it down, good. Rolling over. We're gonna get into our plank position, okay? Plank position, widening out my feet. We go plank rotation, reach up. Switch to the other side, reach up. I'm just twisting my feet. And then I'm reaching to the sky. Twist my feet, reach to the sky. There we go. Five on each side, locking in that shoulder, making sure I'm nice and stable. Shoulder stability for our stuff that we're working on. Once you get five on each side, we're doing our last movement. Good, come up to your feet. Now this last one. I'm going kettlebell swing. So I'm going to turn sideways to show you, but I'm going to put my hands together like I'm holding a weight here. I'm going to hinge down, hands come inside, and then I'm going to hit forward, okay, raising my arms up. Now, if you're doing body weight, that's what you're doing, just like that. If you're using your weights, if you have dumbbells, you can go outside if you want and do ski style, okay? So I come here. And I do ski style, still hinging through the hips. Okay, you have 10 kettlebell swings today. 10 kettlebell swings. Again, you can go inside or outside your hips. Ready? And go. Get 10. And you're right back to your squats. So if you need to, 
grab some water. You're about four minutes in right now, just about. Good. Now you might ask, why on the lower push day are we doing a lower pull exercise and explosion of the lower pull? Helps us counter what we're doing in the push side. So it keeps us going, okay? So start round two when you're ready. Now remember on these squats, keeping things nice and stable. Take a break when you need. If you need more rest than what I took, that's okay. You can take more rest if you need to. Okay, and I'm kind of slowing down on these. I took a week off. Just remember, stay stable, stay strong. Get your 10 in and then move to your next movement. Okay, next one. Camera just went blurry. There we go. So they got us a new webcam. Still figuring it out a little bit. Christmas came early. That's why I have a setup up here. Bright lights, camera. It's a real production, just about. Get your five on each side, single arm overhead, and then switch. Now remember, we're shooting for about four rounds here. So we're on track right now for about four rounds. But if you get more, that's okay. So if you're going a little faster, it's okay as long as they're clean movements. Okay, don't short yourself on movement quality to get more speed. Okay, we don't want that. We want you getting in good movements, nice and strong. Keep breathing. Now, one thing I did forget today in the new room up here is my water bottle. So if you need water, get some water. Normally I'd take water breaks and that's your for sure time to take a water break. Make sure you drink some water. Get five on each side with these plank rotations. And then right back to your kettlebell swing at the top, which I shouldn't call it a kettlebell. But we will. All right. I'll face you for this one. So arms, I'm about shoulder width with my legs. Arms just outside. I get that hinge. Pop through. Get 10 in. And then grab a quick drink. All right, so this is our last week of November workouts. So we will be switching things up a little bit here. And uh, few days, which is crazy. Isn't that crazy? Um, so, all right. Now I can see your names and the world and everything else. Good. Get that deep squat. Yes, I use that as a little extra break time. Sue me. Uh, we got Bill and Cindy. We got. I told you that was going to happen. It is trying to reset. 
<laughs> oh boy. All right, hopefully you guys can see me again. We're still rolling, timer's still going, everything's still up. The only thing that's not is the chat right now, but that's okay. Anyway, good morning, Bill and Cindy, Mayesh, Pavani, Ross. You guys are getting to see the first time with the new setup messing up all the time because my computer wants to restart. Fun stuff. So now I'm behind on the workout because I had to get the camera back up. We are at nine minutes and 30 seconds. Nine minutes and 30 seconds. Then we're moving on to our next thing at 15 minutes. Now next month, we are going strength power. We're switching things up again a little bit. So what we will be doing is a little bit faster workouts, shorter amounts of rep, faster movements, focusing on that strength and power profile. Okay, so do some more timed workouts, unlike this one where it's kind of a long workout and then some short stuff. There we go. I'm trying to catch back up. All right, I'm gonna be on swings. Now, if you guys are a little ahead, that's okay. If you waited for me, I apologize for the mess up. This is my first class not using my cell phone. So it's just getting used to everything. Cell phone doesn't take breaks. My computer wants to every once in a while. All right, got about four minutes left. So get that in. Keep moving. If you haven't gotten some water, make sure you're getting a little bit of water in each round. Now on this cross tensioning dead bug, make sure you're keeping that core nice and tight. Make sure you get that cross tension in there also. And again, if you want to, you can kick that leg out. All right, you got about two minutes, two minutes left. Now, if you're starting another round, that's fine. You might not be able to finish, which is okay. Get through as much as you can. We'll keep moving for the entire 15 minutes. Keep working. Now, if you start getting tired, just make sure that your form doesn't quit on you. Keep things moving, keep things strong. Especially on the last one, that kettlebell swing, making sure that your core is nice and tight. 
Okay, you're using those hips to do the movement. And got about a minute left. Minute left. Finishing it out. Keep working. Okay, keep working. Nice form here. Now you notice I dropped the weight for this last one. I was feeling like things were struggling last round. It's okay to set the weights down. You're still getting those movements in. Still working overhead squat, which is not easy. Got 10 seconds. Finish up where you're at. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, good job, guys, good job. Take a quick break, 15 minutes done. Now we're going into our next piece, which is our Tabata, okay? So our Tabata today, again, I need to come up and adjust, but our Tabata today is reverse lunge with knee drive. We're doing the right side, and then we'll switch to the left side. So with or without weights, totally up to you. I'm going to go without today. So I'm just going to roll those to the side because I don't need them. Okay, so we're going to reverse lunge is our first movement. So reverse lunge, come up, knee drive. Reverse lunge, knee drive. Okay, we'll go all 20 seconds on one leg, and then we'll switch to the other side. From there, we're going body saw. Now I'm demoing so you guys can take a little rest. Now body saw, I have sliders. If you have sliders, you can use them, okay? I'm gonna demo without. So we're here, I push back, I push forward, push back, push forward. Notice that I'm pushing on my toes, okay? So I'm pushing over my toes. If you have sliders, your feet are on the sliders, you're just sliding your feet out and back, same thing, okay? Last part of this round. And this one, if you have really light weights, like uh, two to three pounders, you can use them, but other than that, I don't want you using too much weight. It's more about opening that chest. We go thumbs up, squeeze, bring it down. Thumbs up, squeeze, bring it down. Just pulling those shoulder blades together, okay? Now, I have a band, a yellow band. Uh, I could use that as long as I'm not overworking. I just want that good stretch opening up my chest, okay? Let's take about 10 seconds, and we're going to get started. So grab one last quick drink of water. Timer is ready. Okay, we got about eight seconds. You're going five, four, three, two, one, and go. Reverse lunge, knee drive. Just like that. Just find that rhythm. Does not have to be any faster than that. Just whatever's comfortable for you. Just that leg steps back, steps up, steps back, steps up. I'm setting my knee down to the ground, but I'm not crashing it. Okay, not crashing it into the ground. Up and down. Rest. Okay, rest. There we go. Take that 10 second rest. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Go, other side, making sure we get that other side in there. Keep working, got three seconds. Rest. Okay, body sock coming up. Got about five seconds. Three, two, one. Go. There we go. Push back, pull forward. 
Use that core. Stay in that good, tight core position. Rest. Up on those feet. Bent over position. Bent over rope position. Two. One. Go. Keep breathing, squeeze those shoulder blades. We're not trying to fly away here. We're just trying to squeeze those shoulder blades, open things up, rest. Back to your lunges, first side. Five seconds. Three, two, one, go. Now, one side might feel easier than the other. That's pretty normal. Rest just means that one side used to work in a little bit more. Three, two, one, go. And I'm a little slower on this side because my right leg does not like to balance. <laughs> If you've ever taken class with me before, I was a soccer player. So this is my kicking leg, rest. It's not used to doing the base work. I could shoot left-footed, definitely wasn't as good. Two, one, go. Good body size here. Five seconds. Rest. Bent over T's. Three, two, one, go. Good T position. I'm looking about a foot in front of my feet. As I do these, rest. All right, back to that first leg. Round three, two, one, go. Keep breathing. Keep working. Rest. Now, I think, uh, I think we have our, uh, our uh, class this week. We have one more class with this workout. So, or not this one, but the other one. Two, one, go. So, we have one more class with this, and then the program switches. Okay, so we will be doing this similar style one more time before things switch up. Rest. Now, if you came last week, at the end of class, let me know in the chat box. Let me know how Haley did so I can tell her. Three, two, one, go. Don't compromise your work though. Make sure that you get your work in first. You can tell me in the chat later. It's always fun hearing from the class when you cover because you're never quite sure. Rest. Now, I know some of you have had Haley, so you probably love her just as much as you love me, which is good because Haley's awesome. Two, one, go. So we got one more round coming up. Get yourself ready. Last round of the day of this. And we're gonna finish out with some fun little quick stuff, okay? Rest. Last one and go. 
Last round right here. And rest. Get that rest in. Three, two, one, go. Rest. All right, body saw. Last time we have to do body saw today. Three, two, one, go. There we go. Almost there. Keep tight. Keep things working. Rest. Good job. Last bent over T. Two, one, go. And time. All right. Take about 30 seconds. Breathe. This is a good time if you want to throw it in the chat. How'd Haley do? Let me know. So I can tell her. All right. Our last part for today. Okay. Last part for today. I'm opening up the other timer. She was good, but she's not. Well, I won't tell her that part. Uh, we love Haley. Haley's awesome. All right, we are going. Uh, let me see. How am I doing that? 10 rounds, 10 on, 10 off. Okay, 10 rounds, 10 on, 10 off. Okay, and then we're going to stretch at the end of class today. Now, I demo during class, so we're actually moving along faster than we normally do. So you guys will actually be out of here a little earlier, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Getting in just as much work with less stress. Actually, let's go 12 rounds. Let's go 12 rounds. We'll add a couple just to give us a little more zip. Okay. Now I will have to go back up and start that. So I'm going to demo this one while you guys are resting. Okay. So what we have, our first movement goes into that lower push piece. So we're going to do squat, squat jumps. So it's 10 seconds. I want you to get as many in as you can. So you're gonna squat down, stand up, squat down, jump up, okay? Now, if you don't wanna jump, you can just do speed squats, okay? Just getting in as many speed squats as you can. But squat, squat, jump, squat, squat, jump. I'm trying to hit my head right here on the ceiling. And yes, I'm touching the ceiling, okay? So squat, squat, jumps for 10 seconds. As Soon as you're done with that, you're gonna get in a base position, okay? Base position. And all you're gonna do, is you're gonna drum your arms as fast as you want. Now, you could use lighter weights for this squat position. As soon as I say go, it's just those forearms moving up and down like you're trying to tomahawk a drum as fast as you can. Okay, so squat, squat jumps, tomahawks. Okay, you have six rounds of each. Six rounds of each for a grand total of 12 round 10 seconds on 10 seconds off okay so it's quick turnaround quick turnaround here we go got 10 seconds till we start starting with squat squat jumps get yourself ready in three two one go now remember you can just speed squat also if you want okay if you want to just speed squat rest all right, get yourself ready for those tomahawks. So I'm in that base position. Three, two, one, go.
Rest. Okay, squat, squat, jumps, round two. Three, two, one, and go. There we go, get them in. Rest. Base position. Now, the longer we can hold this base position, the better. We're working those legs. Two, one, go. Rest. Makes me miss battle ropes really bad. All right, round three. Two, one, go. Rest. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Rest. Round four. Three, two, one. Rest. I went from fives to threes. <laughs> Two, one, go. Rest. Five seconds, two, one, go. Rest. Get yourself set. Two, one, go. Rest. Last round, guys. Last round. We got one more set of each. Three, two, one, go. Rest. Last one. The one we've been looking for. Two, one. Go. Now at the end of the day today, with your biceps being extra strong, don't break your keyboard. Rest. I don't think that's a work right off at this point. All right, take a nice deep breath in. Stand up nice and tall if you need to. Put those hands up on top of your head. Open up that chest. Let's do just a minute of breathing. So I'm gonna put my feet together. Feet together, hands on top of my head, pulling my elbows up towards the sky slightly. I'm gonna close my eyes, breathing in through my nose if you can, in through your nose, and out. Don't force it out, just relax out. Force it in, just relax it out. Another about 30 seconds. Continue to breathe. See how long you can breathe in. And let it out nice and easy. 10 more seconds, get one more breath in. Good, release those hands, widen your feet out to about shoulder width. Let's fold forward, let's loosen up those hamstrings first. So we're just gonna reach forward down towards the ground. You can bob a little bit if you want to. 
Nothing super ballistic. Just let gravity do its job. Now we let that heart rate and breath come back. Just load both of them down. Back down a little closer to normal. Come up, squeeze those glutes. We're going to go right back down one more time. Down the middle. Now, if you want, you can widen your feet a little bit more. If you want to, you don't have to. Good, come up. Now, if you need to extra balance or something, you can use a wall. I'm not gonna touch that wall because it's white and I'll probably leave a dirty handprint uh, or a chair or anything like that. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna quarter squat down on my left leg. I'm gonna bring my right leg up, reach up to the sky. I'm gonna pull that leg slightly back, extend out nice and tall, stretching that quad. Switch, quarter squat down, bring it up, up nice and high. Fun fact, because you can kind of see it, which I can see it because I notice it, but notice how my leg looks like it's super bent, which it is. I'm bow-legged, okay? Fun fact, if your kids are bow-legged or have flat feet, go ahead and switch. Let's go one more time on each side. And here you can really see how bow-legged I am, how that those legs do that. Um, Fun fact, when I worked for an athletic trainer that had worked with the Olympic Training Commission and all that stuff for the Olympics wrestlers, he goes, there's been studies. Most athletes with flat feet and bow legs are more athletic than those without. And the funny thing is, all of us, go ahead and switch to the other side, all of us in the athletic training room either had flat feet or were bow-legged and we all were athletes at one point but switched into the more medical side of things so kind of fun I never felt more athletic I just felt like my legs were bent so you can tell your kids that relax down if they start playing sports and they're like but my feet are flat there you go especially wrestling flat feet and wrestling is a good thing let's widen out now this next one right widen out we're gonna do our lateral uh squat so i'm just going to the lateral side i'm just pressing down as low as i can i'm just going to shift to the other side staying in a short room just opening up inside loosening things up we're just going to do three of these on each side so just taking my time shifting back and forth before you take off today i'd like to hear from all of you how's the setup Okay, how's it look? I know the camera was going in and out. I don't know how to work on that. But let me know how things were. You got one last stretch. Okay, one last stretch, keeping in that wide stance, coming down the middle. I just want you to walk over to your right side and hold for about three breaths, just like what we did before. Then over to the left, hold for about three breaths, just like we did before. Back to the center. Once you're in the center, we're going to sweep those toes off, come up nice and high, all the way up. We're going to do that one more time, all the way down. Now you can do each side if you want to for just a breath or two. Go to the other side, come to the center, sweep those toes, come up with one more intentional breath. Told you I would give you some time back today. Looks like about seven minutes, six minutes. Okay, so let me know how things. Look, um, oh, good. Oh, did it freeze? Okay, so we'll have to see what that's all about. I might have to hardwire my computer. I don't know if that'll help because normally it's on my phone, which uses the cell phone network. So we'll work on that. But let me know what you guys think. Thanks, Pavani. Thanks for letting me know. Bill and Cindy, you need to tell me too so that I can uh, tell my boss. Like the setup, clean look. Okay, how is the screen and everything as far as? It looks, to me, it looks glitchy because it like keeps zooming in and out. Miss the fireplace. Oh, I might have to get you. They want me to put something in the corners. So I might have to put something in the corner. Maybe I'll get a fireplace from that corner. 
Okay. How many times did it freeze? Do you know? I know that one time it shut me off. Okay. All right. Well, maybe I'll look to get this thing hard lined up here. So I think I can do that. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you. You guys are awesome. Have a great rest of your day.